Hello everybody and welcome back to Around the Shack. Um, in this episode I decided to do a quickie tear part and see what's going on here. I have this uh, Sonnet uh, model uh, FSH-250. Um, it's, a, it's a neat little radio. I don't remember where I got it. Solar uh, power uh, with uh, rechargeable NICAD batteries built into them. They're right here. Regular batteries, 12 volt AC, uh, uh, DC input. Uh, dynamo that charges the uh, uh, NICAD batteries and it it actually works um, right now it's on the NICAD that I charged in the sunshine today but one of the problems with it is um, that, well the antenna broke so it's not doing it's not a happy camp right now I don't know what's going on in there and uh, the uh, this connector right here uh, the capacitor, the variable capacitor that does the tuning, is scratchy and doesn't want to maintain a lock, and so is the volume control. Everything's kind of kind of loose and wiggly here, so I'm going to tear this thing apart really quick and see what's going on. So we'll just do this live right now. Um, I took all the screws out already. Um, you got to take the batteries out to get to this one screw, and then everything else has a little A. I don't know if you can see that little A right there pointing to the screw that needs to come out. Um, this one's undone, but it's still there. So let's uh, um, see what we can do here. Let's see if I can either tear it apart or embarrass myself. Okay, that's coming apart there. Hey, look at that, okay. Oh, and knobs are falling off. That's a, either a good sign or a bad sign. There for that switch for either rechargeable or dry cell. It does seem to want to come apart. There's the solar panel. I'm not sure what happened here. Maybe the antenna was just it's it's kind of cheapy. It's it's uh Something in the middle there. I guess I'm gonna have to try to take that off. Take that. Boy, these just fall right off there, don't they? Assist this little guy in coming off. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right, there it is. Let's see if I can get some light on here. This little transistor set up here. So something is just not right. There's the dynamo motor. Switches are good. Couple of screws right here. Oops, man, screwed over. I need to get underneath it to find out what's going on with. Uh, That variable capacitor is just not a happy camper at all. That screw We've got goo all around it. Some kind of glue. That is one long screw. That's holding something in there, that's for sure. There it is. I kind of had a feeling 
Well, there's probably part of my problem right there. That wire came loose from somewhere. Well, let's take a peek at the let's take a peek at the antenna here. What is going on with? You know, maybe this goes to the. Oh yeah, right there it says FM antenna right there. FM antenna, so that's probably why. Oh yeah, look at that. There we go. Okay, so there's the antenna down there, and it is broken. Looks like the mount broke or something there. Looks like the oh yep that's it the mount cracked right there if you can see that right there so that screw right there is holding on this post that broke off so I'm gonna have to solder this wire back onto the antenna that's the AM antenna right there it's just fine so I'll go ahead and epoxy this um, and get it screwed back in and uh, put this thing back together again and clean this this uh, potentiometer right here. Um, everything else seems to be working just fine. It's a good little radio. I have to say, I don't remember where I got it. Garage sale, flea market, swap meet, who knows. Um, but I use it. I love it in the backyard when I'm doing uh, gardening or lawn care or whatever. Um, I just put it on recharge, let the solar put this thing in the sun, and and uh, it just goes and goes and goes. But something happened. The antenna broke, and then it just kind of got weird. So this thing's been flopping around. Uh, and I believe it's on FM right now. See what happens if I can touch the antenna here. In Queens, if you're wondering what part of New York, it's not all just New York. In fact, it's well, I mean, this thing is acting like an antenna, antenna right there. The so it's almost acting like it's an FM antenna right there. Okay. Well, anyway, let me break out the epoxy and uh, uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to show you the epoxy job before I put everything together and another little discovery of why I think the antenna wire came out. So here's the epoxy. Um, it's in there really well. It's uh, hard as a rock, not going anywhere. And so that's the screw that will, uh, the antenna will slip through that hole right there um, and, and go into this right here um, and here's what I think happened with the uh, antenna wire which is this right here Let me get that to focus look there's barely just a little teeny blob of solder on the end there here is let me zoom back out again here is the little bugger that that solders into well if you look at it there's no solder on it it's a teeny right there, the, right by my fingernail there. Tiny little piece of solder, and that's it. So, no wonder it came out. Now I turned it on. I've cleaned all the uh, uh, the potentiometer and, and everything. Okay, turn that down. Um, and this uh, capacitor here is sealed. I thought it was all scratchy for some reason, but it seems if I go around, it works just fine. It's not scratchy, and I think this thing here was flopping around and touching stuff because that's the sound it was making. You know, every time I turned something, it was probably just sitting up there. So what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and put this back on, put the antenna back in there. I will probably seal it up a little bit with some uh, um, some silicone uh, glue so it won't be impossible to take it out if it ever does need to get serviced again, but I doubt it. Once this thing is put back together right, it's going to stay together. So that's uh, 
go ahead and call this little clip here done. I'll put the whole thing together again and we'll finalize this video. So I'll see you back when it's put together. All right, well, here it is. Quick little video on this uh, Sonnet model uh, uh, FSH250. I'll probably have to tack this down here. Put a little glue in there, get that label on there, and it works great now. Um, antenna's on there nice and tight, and no more scratching. Um, rechargeable battery works great. I put the dry cells in there, so that's working. Uh, a AM, FM. And one thing I have done in the past, put it on the uh, um, rechargeable uh, 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 battery or DC. Remember, it has a 12 volt input right back here. Um, that this little dynamo does work. Um, you can turn the light on. It's not the best light in the world, but you know, if you're in the middle of nowhere, it's better than nothing. Um, crank it up, kind of give those little uh, NICADs that are in there a charge and it gets the job done again i don't remember where i got it um, it's great for outdoors because it's got the solar panel on there so virtually never needs batteries and there it is all finished hope you enjoyed it if you like the videos give me a thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to press the little bell where's the bell at the bell is right there see subscribe and bell thank you for watching really appreciate it